Okay, yay, it's been a long time coming, but I'm finally making my video of our new boat. It's a 2016 48 foot Aquila Power Catamaran. And we are loving it. We spent a couple of months, three months maybe, uh, in Florida, getting some work done on it, some repairs, some additions, fixing some surprises, not so good surprises, but now I think we've got it in pretty good order and we are enjoying it. So I'm starting on the bow of the boat. Like I said, it's a catamaran, so there's two hulls. There's one right here to the right, one to the left, and then it's open space underneath. So on the right and the left, you see there are these large lockers and these are for storing, these are massive too. Um, they are for storing our toys. This one is anyway. Um, we keep our lawn chairs and our stand up paddle boards usually, uh, snorkel gear, floaties, things like that in here. So you can see there's a couple of steps down and then a lot of storage this thing is over six feet tall so there's a lot of stuff that can go in there and then these little guys just twist and flatten to lock it up so it doesn't fly up in the wind and uh, so there's another one over here and it's full of our fenders and our lines we have some lines and fenders in there and then here is the um, the anchor lockers and so these This houses our chain and then the chain runs further through there and the anchor does not go inside here the anchor just pulls up to the just underneath these lockers but as you can see the chain is stored down there so we are at anchor right now so we have a lot of chain out might be able to see it there and our anchor is over there a little bit Okay, so let's continue on. We have these fantastic little seats here that we love. You can just sit down here and hang your feet over the edge. And then um, I try to use the proper terms for the places and items on the boat. Um, and uh, But this one, I refuse to call it what it's supposed to be called. It is a, um, it's the front cockpit, but I call it the front porch because <laughs> I think it just is like a sweet little front porch, a great place to read a magazine. Um, and you can put your lemonade on this little table. That box over there, that basket, is where I keep the lines. It's my job, Owen drives the boat, it's my job to get the lines ready when we stop and get fuel or when we um, go to shore and we dock at a marina. I have to get the lines out and the fenders out and get everything ready to go, so. And that is the flybridge. I don't know if you can see Owen up there see can you see him there he is that's the flybridge upstairs but uh, let's continue on so um, that is the door there's a door here into the main salon so let's continue on we've got two sets of steps that go up to the flybridge and also up to this fantastic which is covered up right now by a protective canvas topper but um, this uh, is a big huge pad um, with um, vinyl cover on it just like all the rest of the upholstery on the boat um, for lounging in the Sun or looking up at the stars we love that there's two hatches here there's one and there's one this one has a trash bag on it because it leaks but we've gotten everything to fix it we just have to take a little bit of time to do that but instead we've been playing because we're in the Bahamas and as you can see there's a lot of windows and there's hatches on the walkway also as you can see this walkway is super wide that is one of the nicest things with handrails for safety so this walkway is on both sides of the boat then we've got a couple of steps down here this pad is for putting your foot on and jumping onto dock when the tide is low or you can get onto dock off of one of these steps when the tide is high and uh, this is our windlass for um, 
<laughs> wrapping a rope around and pulling it in. <laughs> I'm trying to think exactly why we use that. We don't. We don't use it, so that's why I'm struggling. But anyway, and this is our dinghy. Our boat's name is uh, Quixotic, or if you pronounce it the proper way, um, the Spanish way, it's Quixotic. And um, Quixotic comes from Don Quixote from the book The Man from La Mancha and uh, he was kind of uh, whimsical and um, an odd man, playful and free-spirited and um, so Quixotic comes from Quixote and so we named our boat Quixotic because in uh, English it's easier for people to say Quixotic than Quixotic and then our boat Owen loves this um, space um, sci-fi TV show uh, called The Expanse and um, the I think that's what it's called what's the name of the show that you named the boat after The Expanse, the Expanse. yeah okay okay um, and um, uh, in The Expanse the main spaceship is called Rosinante and so he wanted to name the dinghy Rosinante so we did well then we found out that Don Quixote's horse is named Rosinante and we couldn't believe it what a coincidence very very strange but anyway um, so this now we are on the the aft or the back cockpit and um, this is where you usually enter the boat and we have these great steps down on either side um, and we also have a swim ladder over on this side for getting in and out of the water and we have a, um, a shower okay I'm not sure why that's wedged in that tight but anyway um, shower outdoor shower and more cleats for tying our lines to another pad for getting off and on the boat and there you can see is the other side of the boat and we have this wonderful dinette we love this this banquet um, not crazy about the tabletop we wish that it was a teak so we're thinking about having something made for that and we had all of the exterior upholstery redone it was in a gray and we wanted tan and as you can see it's in this fantastic vinyl that is uh, silicone coated so it's really soft and it's very very much like leather and it doesn't get hot which is fantastic for a vinyl we love 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 this stuff and then this is our davit so we just drive our dinghy up and we hook it up to these lines right here on either side and uh, pull it up and um, that's how it rides when we are underway and otherwise we like to tie it up to the boat and just leave it down for convenience for when we're going out which is often we're often off of the boat riding around enjoying the area so there's little Franklin he just woke up from his nap he loves hanging out on the back deck. Yes, he loves the back deck. So this is one of our favorite features, the um, bar stools and the bar. So this is super cool. This um, bar top lifts up and stands vertically. And then this window comes down and uh, closes all the way and latches when we're underway. So obviously sea spray doesn't get in. But as soon as we stop, what's the first thing we do? Open up the back window. Open up the back window to get that airflow and Open enjoy. Up the front door and the back window. That's right, and enjoy this for um, lunch, breakfast. Just love it. So um, this is our main door in. It's a sliding door. You show how clear the water is. I did not. It's about eight feet deep right now. About eight feet deep. Look at that. Beautiful water love the water in the Bahamas okay so let's go into the main level of the boat and so you immediately come in in the kitchen which is called the galley um, but uh, we love this space it's nice and big so many of the boats it's very small 
Um, we call it a one butt kitchen, but our kitchen is at least a two butt, don't you think? You can fit two butts in here. Um, but um, uh, I keep the coffee maker, which we don't drink coffee. Uh, we have tea from time to time. I love that little guy. We put the little pods in. And then our uh, blender for my morning smoothies. And it has a chopper for veggies and stuff. And then lots of counter space and these storage thingies that um, Owen keeps his favorite sodas in. And then um, we've got a microwave, which is a convection um, oven slash microwave. And then we also have a grill, which has a griddle um, pan as well as a grill pan that go in here. So you can interchange those. So we heat, reheat pizza on this and we make pancakes and hash browns and all that good stuff. And then it also has a, a stove top. And this is a induction. induction, that's the word, induction, uh, which is great. We have all the pans for that. We inherited a lot of great stuff when we got this boat, including induction cookware. cookware. Yeah. We have a whole other griddle and grill upstairs. Right, right, right. We have a, an, another one of these upstairs. And like the other night, we had friends over and we were cooking chicken on this one and veggies on the one upstairs and we were all hanging out, which was fun. So this is just all of this. There's so much cabinetry. It's fantastic. Um, a lot of this stuff came with the boat, including this wonderful bottle opener. Isn't that the cutest thing? I bought the boat for that. Um, and then... That's an expensive bottle opener, that's right. And then um, we put in several shelves where we felt like it would really expand the space. This just used to be completely open, wasted space, but we ended up putting the silverware in here and um, that's a set of knives and just the rest of the utensils in here. And then we've got the bulk of our food in here. And then we've got food down here and then lots of cookware and things like that down here and then um, this boat came with um, a freezer and refrigerator drawer and these are great lots of space holds a lot more than you would think and then it also has an additional refrigerator over here which is more like a college dorm fridgy holds a bunch of stuff. I really love the amount of space. I mean, we're in the Bahamas and we've been, we've been traveling for what, three months now. And I feel like it's been plenty of room. Plenty of room absolutely. And you and I are really big on buying frozens and refrigerators yeah. and stuff like that. So, um, more storage for, um, pots and pans and stuff. And then under sink type stuff and the trash, which is great. And we have to do the dishes, but as you can see, this is a double sink, and we put a new faucet in it with the pull-down sprayer. And this is another storage thing, like the one that had sodas, but this has um, pans for the microwave and uh, just some extra cookware. And then, let's see, what else have we got? Let's see, let's... Inside stairs oh the yeah, stairs. inside stairs that go up to the flybridge. When you're underway and all the doors are closed, you can go up and down. Right. From inside to upstairs. To right, without down. having to go out this back door and around, around the steps and around the front. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So um, let's see. This is the navigation um, station. The navigation station. Yeah. And so this has all kinds of stuff that I don't know what all of them do. These are light switches, and this is the AC. This is our radio system. Um, these buttons and switches make the boat do things. <laughs> this is the radio. <laughs> this is the radio, uh, the uh, BHF radio. And then we keep uh, maps and things like that here. Charts, excuse me, charts. And then I love this thing that I bought on Amazon. It simply just holds. Uh, we call it the Wrangler. That's what its official name is, the Wrangler. That's what we call it. It holds our phones and our tablets and our laptops. So it keeps everything in here when we're underway. They don't slide around and fly out and stuff. And then this is more buttons and switches that make the boat do things. For more details, <laughs> that's a different video. <laughs> oh, and then this is 
Owen's new tablet for navigation. For navigation, mm -hmm. it shows all the charts, and you can zoom in. That's us yeah. at anchor, and it even draws the track of where you've been. And since we're at anchor, it just draws the track to show that we're not dragging from our anchor. That's where our anchor is, and we back down about a 75 feet, yeah. 80 feet from yeah. it, and then we're just hanging there. The wind is just keeping us in that position. And so we leave that running. The lines are not going across the screen. It's because I'm video recording oh, that yeah, there's yeah. lines going across exactly. the screen. And this tells us how much battery we've got so we don't have to run the generator. Right, right. So we know when we're running low on batteries and when we yeah. need to run the generator. It's fantastic it's having all of this stuff right here, isn't it? All right here. So right. nice. We love it. Um, I mean, Owen loves it. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have, uh, that's the kitty's water bowl. We got them a crystal water bowl. I just wanted this boat to be extra special, and so we got them a crystal water bowl, and I'm feeling very bougie having done that. So this is also a crystal bowl for fruit. That's our fruit bowl. And um, I guess I should back up a little bit and say that because of all of this olive wood, and it's glossy and stuff, it reminds me so much of the 1920s, and um, I've always been in love with that whole glamour of the transatlantic crossing, like the canard boats, and um, that whole 20s art deco feel. And so we did, I did the decor in the art deco style, and Owen was right there in it with me, helping me pick out everything that we bought. We, went, we did all of this together. Um, his input was just as much as mine, I think. Um, so one of the things we bought was um, this 1930s um, Art Deco uh, cocktail shaker. And um, it's just, I love this thing. I love it. I love it. It's so well made. Everything antique is so well made. And that, um, that uh, bowl, this is very much in the Art Deco style. And, and it's very well made. It's crystal. And let's see, um, then we come into some nerdiness with the stereo. We nerdiness. The stereo, and we're listening to Pandora or whatever we want because we have Starlink on the boat. Yeah. Starlink? Keeps us connected to the internet. Full what time. is Starlink? <laughs> Satellite internet it keeps us connected to the internet full time. Thank you, Elon Musk. Yep. Yeah. So while we're sitting here in the middle of nowhere, we're, we got full internet, full internet access, Wi Fi for all our devices email streaming music Netflix oh yes which is muy which is importante out. so coming into leaving the galley coming into the main salon um, I try to continue the art deco feel we were in an antique store in everything's blurring together now Sarasota no I don't remember where you got them I can't remember forget it um, what a view. That lamp has the best view in town, doesn't it? <laughs> um, we were in an antique store and found these 1960s, I think they are, 60s or 70s lamps. And I really wanted chrome. I wanted them to be very um, industrial, uh, I think is the Art Deco style. And But they've got the nice curve with the ball and they're just wonderful. And they have these wonderful silk um, string shades those shades what do you think those shades weigh 10 pounds each at least probably yeah they're crazy heavy it's amazing and then um i found this box at an antique store and it has um, a little fan and our remotes for the tv and uh i wanted to point out this is not a chewed up post this is wrapped <laughs> around a post for the cats for their scratching that's post. the scratching post that's right <laughs> and then we also have a lot more cabinetry i've never seen anywhere with this much storage yeah. it's incredible incredible but this is our um snacky cabinet so there's sweets and crackers and stuff in there and then we've got some games in here and um we have tons of storage in here this is all really shallow but we've divided it all up into tools that we use a lot tape um electronics well, well, remote controls for different controls of the boat yeah. headsets for us to talk oh, when yeah, we're our anchoring headsets. or pulling up anchor or docking yep. vicky and i can talk to each other without having to scream over the wind yeah and then the television most importantly most importantly it's not like we watch TV all the time in the Caribbean, but it is nice in the evening to oh, snuggle sweet. in and watch TV. So then we have the TV that comes up. I don't even know what size that is. I think it's a 42, probably a 40 or 42. But anyway, it's 
wonderful to have yeah, the Roku TV. It so that we've got all the streaming internet services, yeah. Netflix and everything. So um, we sit over here to watch TV and as you can see, this is made into a lounger. So we throw throws, blankies, the kitties curl up here and we watch our movies here. And then Made. We had this cushion Nikki made. Cushion made. Yeah, I had this idea of a tri-fold cushion that we can store when we're not watching TV. And we ordered this telescoping stand, the pedestal for it. And we just unclip and it lifts to make the dining table. And not only that, I'm not going to de demonstrate it, but not only that, we can fold it in half, swivel it 90 degrees, and lower it to coffee table size. So um, then we have the uh, this little tray. And the very first thing that I bought for the boat, and I always knew I wanted this ever since I saw it in a um, in an antique store, was the salt and pepper shaker. And the little guy in the center is for mustard, because apparently back in the 20s, when you set the table and you had your salt and pepper shaker out, you also had mustard. That was a thing. I don't understand it. I haven't researched it yet. But anyway, um, I also love my little um, uh, bookends. Uh, they're obviously Art Deco. And uh, I got some great books here. I got an Art Deco book, an architecture book, and then the new Ralph Lauren book who is my inspo for everything I think that I decorate. I've got these little plants. Those were supposed to go to Puerto Rico or in the entry in Puerto Rico and I fell in love with them for this space so I'm just leaving them. And Scarlet's favorite spot. Scar window. Scarlet's favorite sunning spot here. And then I also got this little car. It's a 1930s art deco. I mean it's not an art deco car but it was from the art deco era. Also, the batteries we've got on the boat, we can run, we can sit at anchor without being connected to anything for probably about three days without having to run the generator. We can run everything off the batteries. Lights, fridges and everything run, everything runs completely off the, off the generator. Even the microwave, we can run as we need to. Um, the full oven, the barbecue, the electric barbecue, the electric range, things like that we have to fire up the generator for but we can go for three days without running the generator. Yeah, we run these lamps. We run these every night. Lamps, TV, TV lights, everything we need. Everything. So we don't have the noise of that. Um, yeah. We have to run the generator for the air conditioning, but the wind's always breezy, and this thing's got such a good flow through for the, for the, the breeze. Yeah. Yeah, it's like right now, we have this door um, closed a little because the wind is so high, but I mean... That is a lot of wind today, <laughs> but that's where we get a ton of breeze. We love that pass-through feel. Um, and then we have a couple of blankies here that we use all the time. The cats use them a lot. And then I am in love with these pillows. I've got one on each bed and I've got one in the living room and uh, they are um, just the Ralph Lauren crest. So that's just kind of my signature piece that started everything off actually this little boat started everything off but anyway i think we covered everything in here right yeah i think so in here also more nerdiness on the boat we have a water maker on the boat so that it's a desalinator so we can take salt water and turn it into fresh drinking water and we hold like 230 230 gallons, yeah. 230 gallons of water on the boat and so our water maker will make um, 40 gallons an hour of fresh water from salt water. So when we're running the generator, often we'll run the water maker to top up the tanks because we've got hot water heaters so we can have full showers. We can be out swimming and snorkeling and in the hot sun all day long. We can come back and take a hot shower or a warm shower in the warm Caribbean and uh, not have to worry about running out of water. And since it's super fresh clean, it's a reverse osmosis. So it's like most people have in their house for purifying their water. So the water is totally clear and, cl and clean, and we just can drink right out of the tap. Yes. So. And I love that, and the water tastes great. And the water tastes great. We put but, one of those, yeah, those I was gonna say. filters that puts the, the, um, the minerals, minerals back yeah. into the water. So 
when you make water with a, with a reverse osmosis, it strips all the hard, all the, the, uh, the minerals out of it, and it can taste a little bland, doesn't quite taste right. And they have on Amazon these filters that put those minerals back into it. So as the water maker runs, it runs through this filter and puts the minerals back into the water. So when we drink out of the tap, it tastes great. Yep. Yep. And that's really important to me because I drink water almost exclusively. Yeah. I drink almost nothing else. So, okay. So now let's go down to the port side. What about saying it's the three cabin version? Two cabins on the starboard side, which is the right side of the boat. Yep. Forward and aft. And then the the port side of the boat, the left side of the boat, is that hull is all the masters. Right. So it's it's really large for the master suite though. Yeah, so this entire hull is our master. And some of these boats have a master that actually goes all the way from the left side of the boat to the right side of the boat. It's called a full beam master. We don't have that. That's a great option, but we got other features that we enjoy more than we would have enjoyed that large master bed. Like and mostly you lose the front door, which means you lose the massive breezes blowing through the boat. Right, exactly. Um, so our bedroom where the bed is itself is narrow, but that's okay with us because we get so many other features that we absolutely love. So here is the master bedroom, and this room has such incredible views you get breeze through this hatch you get breeze and light through this hatch and through this window and what a great view to wake up to in the morning i mean it doesn't get any better than that right there so um i ordered this bedding for all of the beds and um i ordered um these pillows for all of the beds and as you can see we don't have a lot of space in this room otherwise there's just a narrow little place to walk down the side but lots yeah. of great storage in the cabinets lots of storage inside yeah. for more clothes yeah we haven't even hit the other clothes but lots of yeah. storage in the side and then this is kind of fun um this cabinet here opens and <laughs> oh, there we go okay and um, it has a little TV, and that's the only size it'll fit in there. Such a big cabinet, but just a little TV. We should put some sort of um, um, mount in the inside there, and the TV turns, turns 90, 90 degrees. degrees. So you can fit a bigger TV. Yeah, and then you pull action. it out. <laughs> then you pull it out, and you turn it 90 degrees to watch. And we've got Roku, Roku on that, so we've got yeah. full. And all of the bedrooms have, video. have these TVs which is great. Oh, thank you very much. Then also this, um, it has the privacy of being able to close over this door. So you can close off the entire master that way. And then in this closet, we have our Dyson vacuum cleaner. Like a broom closet. Yeah, it's like a broom closet. That's very much what it is. Yeah, it's the broom closet. What was that intended to be? Was that a clothes closet? It really wasn't, was it? It had a clothes hanger thing Oh, it did. It, so it was a clothes closet. But it's too shallow to hold hangers. <laughs> hangers don't fit. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so I think I remember that. Why there was a clothes rod in there. Yeah, right. So we took the clothes rod out. And... Right. So um, then you can also see that outside of our bedroom is this, um, really, it's like a closet space. And it has this wonderful chaise that we love. And um, also, fantastic views from the closet. And we have drawers in the bottom of it. This one we keep hats in. This one we keep bikinis in. Actually, those are mine. Oh, his bikinis are behind us. And then we've got all these extra little cubbies, I guess. And then it also, I have to get back here and show my cute rug. Oh, and you can go ahead in there and yep. open that for me. Um, but anyway, I found this little round rug. Actually, all of this had carpeting. Um, that carpeting that's cut to fit around all the edges and stuff, and then you can just roll it up or, and take it out to have it clean. But we got rid of almost every bit of carpeting except for in the living room, right? Oh, and around the, and beds, around the beds. We thought this was really useful. It's nice to walk on and get out of the bed that way. But we got rid of it everywhere else, and... Uh, put in just a few little rugs and so this is a little cute 
just um, like work table. Work table I put my laptop table. on it and I will sit here and work if Owen's working in the living room on that table and just, you know, just to kind of have a little alone space here to do my work. And then this side is the closet side. And as you can see, there's these. Be Vanna White for you. Yeah, I appreciate that, actually. <laughs> Um, we've got these little cubbies up here that uh, have our books and picture frames and stuff. Our water maker control. Yeah, the water maker control for making water. And then more. Yeah, blow dryer and steamer miscellaneous and things like that. Things in a shallow cabinet. And then I don't know if you can hear that air coming in through that window. <laughs> We put these shelves in. Yes, we needed these shelves. We added shelves. And then, so this is Owen's folded clothes. <coughs> Excuse me. On the left. So we added all those shelves. And then his hanging clothes on the right. And then this is, my, I hang most of my clothes. Um, so these are my hanging clothes. And both of our shoes, they're on the left, which is great. And this has more than enough room for this three-month trip, which most of our trips are just going to be a week. So we have tons of space for that. And then I've got a lot of my, uh, the only other folded clothes I've got are in here. And then we have this crystal vase, which is also very Art Deco. So I'm really proud of that. And I think that's it. Then we go into the master bathroom. And as you can see here, it's got a nice long cabinet um, and uh, counter and sink. And then, of course, um, our um, toothbrush and toothpaste, toothbrush toiletries. And toiletries, that's the word. And then all kinds of stuff down in these cabinets. I mean, these cabinets are, are huge, and they store so much stuff. And then we've got a shower, a nice, shower. Plenty big. huge walk-in shower, and even a using view. the bathroom has a great <laughs> view. <laughs> And then we have another hatch, which the air funnels in through this hatch and goes back to the master and funnels in through that one and out that window, and we sleep like yeah, when babies. You're, when you're on anchor or on a mooring ball, you're just about always nose into the wind. And so these hatches funnel the wind from the front to the back, just right through the boat, yeah. which keeps it super yeah. cool. And then um, I love this. I mean, maybe this space was supposed to be used for something way more important, but this just couldn't be any better for laundry. So we've got our um, towels and our clothes in these. Dirty laundry. Our dirty la that's where we store our dirty laundry. Our dirty laundry. <laughs> we don't air it out. And two more cabinets oh, there. yeah. And two more cabinets here. Um, another place where we added a shelf. I mean, look how much we've maximized that. That's my makeup on the lower left in that plastic bin. And um, our, uh, our drugs up there. Um, and then, the most, important addition. the most important addition to the boat, we added a washer and dryer. So this little guy here, um, oh, I couldn't be happier with it. It's a Splendide, and it is the vented, not the ventless. And uh, the ventless, I hear you are going to have a lot of trouble ever getting them to dry your clothes. Um, this one's vented, it vented and it dries your clothes very quickly and we absolutely love it and you you can put your clothes in set your wash cycle set your dry cycle and come back in a couple of hours and clothes are done and i'm serious it's just as good as the one in your in house fact, it's a combo washer dryer in a single unit it's yeah really cool. yeah very cool yeah. As so, you said, you put them in when you come back, they're dry. Yeah, they're yeah, it's folded. fantastic. <laughs> so, um, leaving this space. So, this entire hole is the master, and then we come back into the main salon. And then we go down the stairs across from the master stairs to the other hall, which has two bedrooms. two bedrooms. They're very similar. They're not perfectly identical, but they're very similar. So you start out in a hallway, and the hallway, all it has is a cabinet here on the left um, for storage for guests stuff. Okay, don't freak out. It's pretty scary, but this is one this of the beds. <laughs> this right now. right now is where we're keeping everything for our projects. So we have a few projects, as you can see, to finish. They're really not as bad as it looks. 
Um, we have all of our canvas that goes around our flybridge upstairs. Also, our um, front porch can be enclosed with the canvas, and this is actually clear um, plastic icing glass. Um, we just have to peel the paper off. We're leaving it on for now. Um, so that can be enclosed, which we chose not to do. So we're taking all of this home, putting it under the spare bed. And then that is a massive four foot by five foot painting that I found at a thrift store in Sarasota. And it is one that is identical to one I saw in Boise. And I was so sad that I couldn't take it to Puerto Rico with me when we moved. And so I didn't buy it. And then I found it in Sarasota and we were able to put it on a boat that we can actually take back to Puerto Rico. So I said, I have to have it. So we got it, and now it is wedged in there and ready for the big trip from the Bahamas to Puerto Rico. So this is a big old mess, but this is where the kitties eat. The kitties also use the bathroom in a bathroom right here, which I won't show you because it's just a litter box and it's a mess. And it's identical to the bathroom in this stateroom. So this is the third bedroom. And now this one's a little neater, but I kind of went a little crazy and started buying um, some clothes and bags and stuff on our trip. And so um, this is pretty messy also, but I just wanted to show you, I mean, these are all queen size beds. Every bed on the boat is a queen size and um, it has lots of storage of which we are gonna have completely cleaned out for guests after this trip is over but we've got a little fan and a heater in here and there's more storage space over here and all of the rooms have a, uh, a mirror, a full length mirror, all of them, which is great. And a full bathroom and a shower. And each room has full bathroom and separate shower. Yes. So each, bath, each, each room has, a, has its own dedicated bathroom and shower. And hanging space. Each room has hanging space. And a great view. And another fantastic view can't get any better than that and a hatch that's the one that you saw upstairs that needs fixed because it has a leak um oh and the bathroom so the bathroom is as you come in it's here and these bathrooms are just great so you've got a cosmetic um, cabinet here these lift up for storage of um, cosmetics and uh, a sink and a place to put toilet paper, a spare toilet paper over there and the toilet and a really great size shower for a spare bedroom shower. I think that shower is probably three and a half, four feet. I'd say, I'd say a good four feet. So excellent. So these bathrooms are identical. So there, there's no difference. And then you've got this little vent for air and you've got this little, um, hatch for air so these are great so I love that everybody's got their own bathroom so let's go back and so now you've seen everything inside the boat let's take a little trip to the flybridge okay so we go up these stairs or up either in the front forward stairs right. that we showed at the beginning of the video right. and then there's this large hatch which is the door that we open gets a lot of extra airflow that brings you up to the flybridge. So this is the only driving station in the boat um, and that's perfectly fine with us. Um, you could opt to get one downstairs. We opted for the additional sofa that's next to the television. And so this is where you drive from. These great pads on either side for sitting while underway. Um, the isinglass, as you can see, you can unzip it and open it up and get some airflow, which we've done. And all the, uh, all the, yeah, navigation stuff there. The navigation tablet down the stairs sits right here. This is just a temporary thing to hold it in place. We're going to get a mount for it. Yeah. But it sits right there, so I've got the built-in navigation and the navigation on the tablet. Right. And then a nice big bench seat. And then um, great, huge amount of space. I think we can probably seat, what, 12 people at this oh, yeah. table. And both sides of this table, uh, the leaves 
not the leaves, the drop, the drop leaf. Yeah, the drop leaf. Um, yeah, one's up, one's down right now, but you can lift both of them up and seat a ton of people here with, of course, a great view for evening. And then this is where Owen does his grilling. And it's got the same lid as downstairs. It's because this closes. You can't have the lid on it all the time, but it's got the full barbecue grill, sink. Also, an ice maker, which we don't leave running all the time because it does take a lot of battery. But when we're running the generator, when we're underway, we can make a lot of ice. We can make at least a full gallon Ziploc of ice in about two, maybe three hours at the most. Um, so it takes a lot of ice fast. And another fridge up here. Yeah. Just yeah, a drink fridge. Call it drink fridge. Yeah, and then this spot right here is... Um, for putting a bar in a, for a stand, a pull a stand for an optional TV up. Here. Right, but we don't, have, we don't have a TV up here. We don't feel the need for one. So um, then, also, we haven't really decided where we're going to keep our stand-up paddle boards, but we're kind of thinking this is a good spot for them. That's a nice open, it's empty nice spot. Open spot Why not use it, use right? It all, so, yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's pretty much the entire boat. Um, let's take a walk just down these steps so you can see what it's like to leave the driving station. And as I said, on the right here is the pad for sun lounging or looking at the stars. And then so we go down these steps. And we're back on the, um, the bow of the boat. See the anchor chain. I know, I, I showed that, yeah. So, okay, that's it. Yay, we finally made our video. <laughs>